Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Watch Chingon Radio Show Podcast. I am your host, Juan Mendoza. The show is being brought to you by Lila Lisa Promotions, sponsored by Marasun Tequila, the new face of tequila. On this week's show, we have Grupo Sendero. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to the Mastering on Radio Live show right here on Facebook Live. I want to thank you guys so much for being with us here. The show is being brought to you by Lila Lee's promotion, sponsored by Marisol Tequila, the new face of tequila. And on today's show, we got two awesome gentlemen from an awesome group. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have Mr. Isaac Cavazos and Mr. Vicente Garza from Grupo Sendero. Gentlemen, what's going on? What's going on, man? How's Good everything brother. going? Going good, Juan. Thank you for inviting us to the show, brother. Uh, it's an honor. No, no problem, man. Thank you so much for everything, and congratulations on your brand new uh, video. Thank you very much. Thanks. Yeah, thank you, man. Everything's been been going good so far, so you know, looking good. Staying, staying busy. <laughs> yeah, it's been pretty busy. You know, our phone's been going off. You know, it's you're getting a lot of a lot of good feedback from the from the latest songs that came out. It's pretty. So it's going really well right now for uh, El Pachangon. That's what the song's called. Nice. Uh, we're going to be adding the single to our Top 20 Countdown. It is already on our Top 10 Music Video Countdown list. So after everybody sees it, they can go vote on Uh We're going to be debuting it here in just a little while. So make sure you guys stick around for that. And uh, on next week's show, we're going to have uh, Romelo, Ronnie Lucero out of Colorado. And then we're going to be uh, getting ready for Fanfare, which is coming up here in a couple weeks already. And time flew by quick. So, but right now we got Grupo Sendero. Uh, let's get a history on you guys. Uh, how'd you guys come about to form this group? Well, I started back uh, around 12 years ago. Me and Isaac used to work together in, in corrections in Yellow County. Shout out to all our Yellow County buds out there. Uh, and uh, we, we, uh, we, you know, I found out he played accordion. You know, everyone knew I, I played the guitar there. They, we just one time, it was a little hangout. Isaac showed up with the accordion, and we just hit it off there. And, uh, man, we've been like brothers since then, you know. We just uh, uh, hit it off. We wrote a song. We wrote a like a dial, actually, about a, maybe about a year uh, later after that. And uh, we had a like a dial just, you know, sitting there. We've always played it. A lot of people always liked it and loved it. They just never, you know, we never went that extra, you know, um, step to you know, for, uh, right, register the song, then take it out, the whole group, all the nine yards, you know. So we got older, you know, you're getting older, you know, and you're like, Gee, wow, man, hey, we're not getting any younger, man, you know. So, uh, yeah. you know, me, me and Isaac were like, we're sitting down one day, and you're like, you know bro, let's just, let's just do it, man, why not, right? What do we have to lose? So we uh, went ahead and, you know, started forming the, the band. We always, we always had a lot of, you know, Band, band members, you know, friends of ours that play, and you know, and, and you know, we got Roy on the drums, we got Abe on the bass, you know, we got a uh, Jose on the congas. So we got a, uh, you know, so far we've been doing good. You know, we're just, you know, doing what we like to do. So for the past uh, eleven years, I guess you guys were just pretty much just playing and performing everywhere. Uh pretty much. We were just jamming out together, man, in each other's houses. You know, we'd barbecue, and then we'd. uh we just do, you know, accordion and bajo. But, you know, we'd, we'd have a gig here and there, nothing serious, until I want to say um, in 2022, in February, we had a, a gig in Kingsville, and it was for a benefit for a, for a fallen officer, a, a police officer that had passed away. So we put the band together, the same guys that we've been jamming with, and, and we got some real good feedback. So from there, we started, you know, it was like, you know what, let's, let's start recording our, our originals, and uh, let's see what happens, you know? And... And that's what happened with Ola Quetal. We did it in September, and then uh, Buenos Dias, we did it two months later. And now this one's much and gone, but it's been going really well since then. But yeah, that's when we started about, uh, you know, that last year, just, just kind of digging. Yeah. Those are some nice guitars that you got in back there. How many guitars do you have? Uh, like 48, I think. 48, <laughs> and they're all hung up in that room? Yeah, they're up top. What's the one? And then Damn. and I got some over here on the side. Damn. Yeah. Isaac lot. pretty much has, Isaac pretty much has a club bar inside his house. You know, that's <laughs> it's messy that right your, now, man. Is that your uh, practice studio? Yes, yeah. It's just I was uh, we're fixing up, so everything's thrown around. But yeah, this is my drum. 
and I got the congas, the accordion, the drum sets. There's more guitars over here. It's pretty messy, but here's the bar. Nice. <laughs> so before y'all formed Sendero back in, what did you guys say, 2012? Were y'all playing with bands before y'all met and got together, or just uh, y'all just messing around with the, with the instruments? Yeah, man, we were playing, uh, uh, you know, we would play here and there in the quinceañeras, waiting, small little gigs and, and parafaras, whatever. And we would also help out uh, our friend, a good friend of our sister, Geneva, uh, the Adicción, uh, at the time. And, and we went, we played, you know, quite a bit with her fanfare here and there, you know, so, you know, other bands that just, you know, need help for gigs. Nice. Um, so both of y'all are border patrols down there in the valley. Yes, yes, sir. Has it gotten has it gotten real bad, or is it lined up a little bit? Uh, well, if, uh, based on uh, I guess that's kind of like a touchy subject, right? It's, just, it's about border security and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, day by day by day, or what? Yeah, man. I mean, a lot. My personal uh, opinion, as far as that goes, I mean, it's it's kind of. Uh, it's like the seesaw effect, man. So, I mean, there's days that it's, it's bad and there's not, you know, we just, we just go to work and do, do what we got to do. Yeah. I know out here we live between San Antonio and Laredo. So, I mean, we have bailouts like every, every so often, maybe at least they've calmed down at least a little, to about once a month or something. There's always a bailout around here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. You just gotta be careful, man. Just uh, watch your six. I mean, there's, you know, pursuits and all those type of things going on everywhere. So just, uh, you know, be careful. Yeah. So uh, let's see, when you guys talk about these new singles that you guys have out here, uh, Buenos Dias, where did that song come from? Buenos Dias, uh, it's song I had started writing. It was actually, I had a dream. Um, one, one morning I woke up. I'm like, you know what? I had this tune in my mind. So I came over to the bar and I started playing my guitar and, and doing the, when was he as me to see? I started doing the the chorus. So from there, you know, I started writing it. And this was, I think, about a year and a half ago. Um, and then I was stuck on some words, and I'm like, you know what? Let's let's collaborate. So we sent and I started. Um, we finished the song. I'm like, you know what, man? Let's get in the studio. Let's record it, man. And see what happens. So sure enough, like you know, the song was finished about a month later. We got in the studio. We practiced first, of course. We had like three different versions, but finally we came to a version that I liked and we liked, and we produced it, we recorded it, and we put it out, and then and it's doing well, you know. So thank God. <laughs> yeah, and it, it's been it's been hitting off off and on on our countdown, so that's a good thing, especially the the video itself. Yes, sir. Awesome. Yes. Thank you. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and take a break and uh, hear that song real quick. So if anybody hasn't heard, and then coming up here in just a little while, we're gonna play the brand new video. And El, Pacho, El Pachangon, which is an awesome song and an awesome video. So we're going to play that one here in just a little bit. But let's go ahead and play this one for everybody. If they haven't heard it, make sure you guys check it out. Request it on all your favorite stations and vote for it on our Top 20 Countdown. And, of course, the actual video on our Top 10 Music Video Countdown. chiquitita Buenos días mi amorcito Anoche soñé yo contigo Tengo ganas yo de verte Me traes enloquecido Buenos días mi amorcito Anoche soñé yo contigo Acariciando tu pelo Tus labios, tu cara Eres un laberinto Te 
en lo que he sido. Buenos días, mi amorcito. Anoche soñé yo contigo. Acariciando tu pelo, tus labios, tu cara. Eres un laberinto. All right, that was awesome song right there. Buenos dias by Grupo Sendero. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are just joining us, we got Grupo Sendero here with us. We have Mr. Isaac Cavazos and Vicente Garza. Uh, like I said, next week we're going to have uh, Mr. Ronnie Lucero, aka Romelo, and then we're going to be out at uh, Fanfare uh, March 16th through the 19th. We're going to be doing some interviews out there. And uh, coming up here in just a little while, we're going to have our the return of our Three Amigos show with myself, Marcus Daniels, and Mr. D. Burleson. So, make sure you guys stick around for that. Uh, guys, that's an awesome song right there. Uh, great song. Glad to have Thank it on you. our countdown, and of course, in the rotation here. Appreciate you guys playing it. Thank you very much. And uh, shout out to Lila Lisa Promotions, along with the Powerhouse Records, also. And uh, you as well, Juan. Thank you very much. My on Radio. No problem. So, you guys are recording with uh, with Chris Rodriguez, Tahano Powerhouse Records. How's it, how's it working with him? Yeah, well, we just uh, got on board with Chris. Um, so, you know, we're looking forward uh, and, uh, for all these new projects that we have in mind lined up, you know, so it's, it's really looking really good, man. I mean, Chris is awesome. Freaking Chris is real talented as it is, you know, you know, he's got his own band, Highway 21. Shout out yeah. to them and, and they, they've done awesome, you know, so, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're just looking, we're excited to see what, what, what's coming. Nice. Um, so what are you guys working on? I know you got the, the song and the video out. Are you guys working on an, uh, more material and an album or what are you guys going to be working on? Well, we have uh, quite a bit of originals ones. I don't know, man. We, we, we don't know if we should do another original, another cover. Uh, it's not going to be a little surprise out there. So we're going to get in the studio very soon here within the next maybe two, three weeks. But um, yeah, we're already going to start putting out our stuff eventually put up the album probably this year. Um, and uh you know, just record what we have, and we have quite a bit of material. Uh, we want to, you know, we want to do some covers. We, we want to choose the right one. But uh, as far as originals, we have a couple in mind. Um, so it's, it's, we'll see what happens, you know. We'll have a little surprise for you guys. Nice. What uh, Speaking of, like, covers, uh, what songs would you like to cover? I mean, what artists would you like to guys cover? Well, we have, uh, man, we have a few you know, that we've discussed, you know, um, uh, I guess, Firme, you have uh, Coronelio Reina, you know, we have uh, some old school Tejano stuff, you know, I mean, we just, we, we, we pretty much, the, Isaac chooses some of them, and I'll get, I'll get some, a handful, some of the guys from the band also have ideas, and we just kind of, you know, it's like the music's like the stock market, man. So it, it, it varies, man. What there's there's momentums that go, you know, little little flares, and then uh, it's kind of like it's like a business. You know, you got to see what, what what's going on. We obviously we we believe in our own material, right? Our, our, our originals, uh, you know. But at the same time, you just got to keep track of what's going on. But uh, yeah, I mean, we got we got some covers. I mean, it's just we haven't really narrowed narrowed it down to what what we're gonna do with the cover. It'll, it'll be a cover more than likely, right? Um, yeah. But we also have uh, uh, a lot of, quite a few originals that we already have, you know, ready to go. But nice. everything's, you know, you got to kind of strategize things with the music business. Yeah. Uh, let's see, we got uh, Jovia Nueva, Tejano Bluesman out of uh, Houston, Texas. He said, Tejano Bluesman in the house watching us. Thank you so much, brother, for tuning in here out of Houston, Hello. Texas. We also have uh, Miss Norma Salazar from uh, Holland, Michigan, tuning in. 
Thank you so much, Norma and George, for tuning in. We appreciate you guys. We also have uh, my baby, Lila Cervantes, uh, watching us also in the other room out there, but she's watching. So there you go. Being brought to you by Lila Lee's Promotions. So um, you got, are you guys going to go to Fanfare? Yeah. Oh, we'll you, guys are, you guys are actually performing, right? Yeah, March 18th. We're going to play on the, I think it's called the South Saba Stage. I think it's uh, 1.40 p.m. We're going to play during the day, but uh, we're going to have um, a little surprise for you guys there in Fanfare. We're not going to say it right now, but we're going to have a little surprise for you. Um, it's going to be a little collaboration uh, at, there at the end. But yeah, we're going to we're going to be playing there at, at, on the Saturday, the March 18th. Nice. Um, are you guys going to be able to make it to uh, the Hacienda Studio? Is that when on Thursday? Uh, it will, I think we're getting together Friday noon. Right, man, we're gonna try to make that one. I think uh, we sent the night work, but as soon as we get out, we're gonna hit to San Antonio. Okay. We're about, I'm about four hours away. Yeah. Um, if not, I think uh, she's gonna get some of the, the artists in there uh, Saturday at noon around there. So if you guys are still in town around there, maybe you guys can get with her because I know she wants to do uh, Michelle from Hacienda International wants to mm -hmm. get with some of the artists to do some uh, podcast interviews for her upcoming shows and stuff. So uh, yeah. she was up you guys as well we can work something out we'll figure it out yeah okay so that'll be another for everybody out there hacienda international with uh with michelle uh she's gonna be doing uh getting some interviews with uh, grupo sendero i know carlos p garcia uh and uh maritza gomez and a bunch of other artists that we have she's gonna get them all together in one room and just knock them all out one by one so she's, so be, it's gonna be a pretty busy day and pretty busy weekend um, I know Thursday we're going to be at the Internet Radio Gala, Mi Mercado Flea Market in San Antonio. We're going to be getting together with all the artists and all the Internet Radio stations in one place. Uh, we're going to be doing some interviews out there, so hopefully everybody can show up. And uh, I wish you guys could be there. Hopefully you guys can make it. Yeah, no, we'll, we're, we're going to try to make it, definitely. Thank you. Okay. So uh, let's talk about this new single that you guys have here, which is called El Pachangón. Um, tell us about this song right here. Yeah, so this song, um, uh, we, uh, first of all, you know, our, our good friend, uh, Jerry Alvarez, uh, he was a, a writer for the song, him and, uh, the other writers, uh, Ray Rodriguez, uh, Ray Rodriguez, right? Yeah, they, they, he, Jerry had that song and he used to, obviously, you know, you don't know if you, you know, Jerry, play with those guys back in the day. He's a hell of a composer and Mr. Rodriguez. And, uh, you know, they, they had it there, man. And he's like, hey, we got this song. And we heard it. And we're like, hey, man, we got can we take it now? You know, so it, 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 that song has so much potential, man. It's awesome. It's an awesome song. And has, the story behind the song is awesome, you know. So we, me and Isaac, first of all, me and Isaac are like brothers, man. You know, we, man, we, we've known each other for so long. We go way back. And that song just described a lot of, you know, uh, friendship, right? And, and, you know, just ha having a good time and just, you know. So it just uh, it just went with us. So we we liked it, and this this you know came out good. Nice. How long did it take you guys to shoot the video? It took us like I don't know, maybe three and a half hours, four hours. But after that, we still kept on partying. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, before yeah. man, we, it was fun, man. Um, yeah, we we had a, a lot of friends go, a lot of family. Um, we had some low riders in the video. We had uh, a limo. A friend of mine has a limo company. So, hey, man, let's just put in the limo. It's going to look bad. And then it says, like, put 0956 there. I don't know. It's a big thing over here in the valley. Um, it was really fun man, and, and uh, to shoot that video. You know, we we're, were a little sick that week. We sent it now. We kind of got down with, with, a, with a cold. But um, it was really fun, man. That on that, it was a Friday. We filmed it. And it took about four hours. Uh, it was, man, it was super fun, though. You guys took enough tequila shots and got rid of it? It was uh, rough, man. We, we almost canceled the video, to be honest. We almost, the, the weather was cold and it, things were just kind of not there, not lined up there, man. But we had to go through with it. You know, at the end of the day, we couldn't cancel the, the, the date, you know, and we already had everything planned. So, you know, shout outs to Ranch House Burgers from Westlake also with Mikey. He, 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 you know, helped us out with the place. So, nice. it turned out good. Did it, did it get hotter already over there? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little... It's warm right now. Yeah. 
Nice. All right, so this is what we're going to do here. Since we got the brand new video, which we did uh, download last night, actually entered it into the system. So we're going to go ahead and do a world premiere here on the Machingo Radio live show. And this is a brand new video from Grupo Sendero, and this one is called El Pachangon. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Make sure you guys vote for it on our top 10 music video countdown list every single day. So ladies and gentlemen, Grupo Sendero, El Pachangon. Con la suerte que he tenido, por donde quiera que voy, no me han de faltar amigos, que reconozcan que soy, siempre me verán seguido, cantando y tocando el son, de mi guitarra y mi vino, dando vida al pachangón. Si me ofrecen una, yo les canto dos, una buena cumbia que tenga ritmo y mucho sabor Si me piden otra, nunca digo no Esto va pa' largo hasta que amanezca y salga el sol Que tenga ritmo y mucho sabor Si me piden otra Nunca digo no Esto va para largo hasta que amanezca y salga el sol Si me ofrecen una Yo les canto dos Una buena cuya que tenga ritmo y mucho sabor Si me piden otra Nunca digo no hasta que amanezca y salga el sol That's an awesome video right there in the, the premiere of Grupo Sendero, and that one's called it Panchangon. That is an awesome video. So they said you guys took about three hours to film it. How long did the party last? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Until daylight, brother. Now, nah, I want to say around 12, man, one in the morning, right? Two, maybe two. Yeah, well, the business shut down. They closed down, so we had to leave, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say there were people passed out on the lawn and, and the grass and everything else. Yeah, that's the idea of the song. <laughs> it's just, uh, yeah. That's, that's my skill soul. Yeah, man. There you go. Well, like I said, it's an awesome video. Make sure everybody checks it out and uh, just go stream it on YouTube. Make sure you guys uh, vote for it on our Top 20 Countdown, our Top 10 Music Video Countdown. Make sure you guys request it on all your favorite stations, including Master Gun Radio, all the FM stations out there. Make sure you guys uh, request it and vote. Uh, very important. Um so, other than Fanfare, what else do you guys have coming up? Any other gigs that you guys got coming up? Yeah, we got um, we have some private gigs in June. I think we have two in June. I think one's a wedding, one's a quinceanera, and then we have uh, Cactus Festival that's gonna be in uh, Rio, Rio, Rio Grande, Texas, Rio Grande City. Um, that's a festival, 
Uh, we're going to be playing there with the Ibarra boys and uh, I believe the homeboys. Um, let me see. I think we have... Uh, we got bragging rights in May. That's over here in Edinburgh. No, no, it's going to be in Mercedes, okay. the Life Nurse Program. And uh, that's a, that's a, like a Border Patrol event. But we're going to be playing at that right now for right now. I was about to say, what is bragging rights? What does that consist of? It's a, it's a cook-off, like a barbecue cook-off with uh, all of the Border Patrol sectors, uh, actually stations here in the Valley. Oh, okay. I thought it meant like Border Patrols versus uh, the Sheriff's Department or something or how we... Nah. How we... Well, you have a bunch nice. of, uh, yeah, <laughs> bunch of crazy stuff going on. Not a, well, yeah, not a bad idea. Yeah, how does it, how does it feel being? Uh, how long have you guys been doing this border patrolling? Um, well, Isaac's been doing it. I think uh, 12, 13 years around there. Uh, I've, I've been, I'm, yeah, I'm going on uh, on uh, nine nine years. So, but law enforcement in general, I mean, we've been doing. Probably close to twenty years, over twenty years. Yeah. How did y'all? How did y'all start off? You know, local police around that area, and then just yeah, going for Border Patrol. Yeah, I started working at the sheriff's office in Yalo County. Did twelve years there, and then came here. So I'm going on nine. Isaac did uh, around the same time at the sheriff's office, maybe half, and then he's been in Border Patrol so for a while longer. Nice. Yeah. Well, that was good, man. Thank you guys for all your service, man. And just be careful out there, man. I know it's crazy times and shit gets crazy out there so as long as you guys are careful and you know staying safe that's a good thing yeah thanks man i mean we love the music the music for us man is like you know it relieves the stress you know we love doing this is uh this is uh something that we enjoy and it's just uh you know out of our heart yeah nice nice so uh, um you guys want to do any collaborations who would you want to <laughs> collaborate with out there man uh you know what, Geneva would be good. She's, she's our, a real good friend of ours, man. Geneva, we've been playing with her since 2008. You know, we've done some recordings for her. We've played a lot of gigs. We're like uh, a music family with her, man. So we'd love to do one with her. And uh, I would I would want to do something with like Los Chamacos, maybe, Jaime de Anda. That I, I look up to Jaime de Anda a lot. He was my idol growing up. Um, and love Solido, man. Solido is one of my favorite bands. Um, as well as Duelo. Duelo. I mean, no, I don't know about Vicente. Yeah, no, I mean, all those bands are good, man. I mean, there's so many good bands out there. I mean, you know, I mean, it's just, you know, you have so many good ones. I mean, but I mean, it would be interesting for us. All this is new. I mean, we're, we're going, you know, going with the, with the flow here, you know, and, and, and everything is all these phone calls stuff. And, and, you know, sometimes me and Isaac, you know, Obviously, we have jobs and stuff like that, but you know, Isaac's Isaac works night works nights, so he'll handle handle phone calls after certain certain hours, and then I'll get calls or messages, whatever, and we'll try to work things out. But I mean, yeah, man, bands as far as bands, all those bands are good, you know. Nice. Fama, man, Fama's another one. I'd love to do one with Fama, bro. <laughs> Fama, yeah, Fama's Fama's good. Fama, if you're able to still out there rocking and rolling, man, they're, they're pretty good stuff. Um, be doing some uh, Grupo Frontera stuff. Everybody seems to be on that on that page right now. Grupo Frontera. Yeah, man, they're doing great. Man. Yeah, man, they're doing. Yeah. They got TikTok famous, and now everybody wants a piece of them, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, hey. Go ahead. Well, go ahead, Isaac. No, I think it's a good thing. You know that they're they're putting uh, the RGB on the map. The pretty much the Norteño Tejano music, also, man, is they're doing really well. That's that's good for them. Shout out to our, our, our ex, uh, actually, Carlos, their bass player, he used to play with us, you know. Uh, yeah, man, the most, well, you know, we, we were not playing so much, you know, and, and obviously, guys, hey, bro, you got to make money somewhere. So, uh, he ended up going from Terra, mm -hmm. Carlos Zamora, and he's, you know, he's done really well, you know. You know, shout outs to Frontera and, and, and Carlos. Nice. You're gonna you're gonna do something out there with a, a Bronco nine five six. We were we're thinking about having him in the video, man, but he turned us down. <laughs> <laughs> he want he want more money. <laughs> nah, I'm joking, but no, yeah, he, he's been he's been a hit over here. <laughs> how did that How did that guy get famous like that? He just I I know he dresses up, uh, like what's his name, but um, I'm from Bronco, but I just got, he just got famous like all of a sudden. Yeah, bro. He's uh, he was dancing there at the flea market and in, uh, in Alamo, and I guess somebody started recording him on the phone, 
And uh, this guy blew up, dude, on TikTok. Started freaking, uh, he got freaking, he blew up, man. I don't know. I don't know what he did. <laughs> Sold his soul. <laughs> just died. But uh, it's yeah, bro. It's just started dressing and looking like, uh, ¿cómo se llama? Lupe Esparza. Yeah. Yeah, from Bronco. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, well, no, that's cool. I'm, I'm glad you guys uh, got to be a part of the show right here, and I'm glad I got to interview you guys. You know, we're, I know we've been working, you know, hand in hand trying to get your music out there and trying to promote you guys and stuff and uh, getting you guys booked up for fanfare and all these other events. Hopefully we can get you guys on some more stuff. But, you know, we're always here and glad you guys are out there, man. And the music sounds good. The videos are great. Uh, we can't wait to see what else you guys got in store. Yeah, of course. We want to thank you, Lila. Matching on, you know, for all the help and, and, and support and all the, all the fans out there, you know, we can't ask, you know, we want a special thank you from, from our hearts. Um, expect more music. We're just going to keep on going and keep on recording. And, and uh, there's good things coming. Nice. Uh, let's see. We've got a couple more uh, people here. We're going to give shout outs to, uh, we got Roxanne Mendoza, Roxy Grupo Tejas uh, from Eagle Pass. They're from Eagle Pass out there. She says, saludos. Uh, let's see, we got Ir Irma Aguilar from uh, San Antonio, Texas. She said, hola amigos, bendiciones. Saludos, Irma. Uh, let's see, we got, we got my, my baby over here, Laila Cervantes. Laila, what's <laughs> up? Laila. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else we have here? Oh, we got my, my daughter's on from uh, Houston, Janie Mendoza. She says, hi to me and to Laila. Hi, Janie. Oh, Janie. Uh, let's see, Norma Salazar. She's still on the line there. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for everything, man. Uh, you guys didn't have any merchandise uh, when you guys go out there to Fanfare? Yeah, I was just going to tell you, uh, we got the merchandise we're going to be giving out. Also, we'll have some for sale, but we're going to be throwing out some merchandise. Uh, we got some stuff for you guys. Must be going. You know, we, we appreciate your help, Juan and Lila. Um, so we're going to give you guys some merchandise over there. And uh, we're going to – Elegant Distributors is one of our sponsors – so we got some shirts we're going to give out over there, some koozies. Um, yeah, we got a lot of stuff we're going to give out. Also, we're going to have some for sale, some hats, some shirts. And uh, what else? We got we got that surprise for you guys. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you out there on Saturday, March 18th. Nice. We need to, we need to get with LNF, man. They, that way they can wrap my car when we go out there. <laughs> no, man, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they came into some new management. So, yeah, I, I, I talked to them. <laughs> Yeah, we need to we need to get uh, Grupo Sendero right on the hood of the car, man. Everybody can see. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. uh, we got uh, Daniel Garcia. Uh, he says saludos. Uh, I think that message was some, for somebody else. But um, we're going to go ahead and play one more song for you, for everybody. And this one is uh, called Hola Que Tal. So uh, tell us about this one real quick. Uh, so Hola Que Tal. Uh, was a song I actually wrote that one in the jail, man. There, not not, not locked up, but <laughs> working uh, when we were working were... corrections. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hell of a way to start it off, man. I was in jail, and I just started to write. Kind of the same thing, you know. Uh, you know, as corrections, you're there freaking, you can't do any, can't get out or do anything, you know. You just, but anyway, so yeah, uh, it was a midnight shift, and I started writing the song, and uh, you know, like I played the song, I kept calling Isaac. Isaac was working like in a in a pod somewhere in another cell. And we we're like, hey man, what I do here, you know? We just, yeah, we we finished it and we wrote it. Then we did the, the the music to it, and and, and it turned out good, man. Nice, nice. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and play this one for everybody right here. So if anybody hasn't heard this one, make sure you guys check it out and request it on all your stations. This one is called Hola Que Tal Grupo Sendero. We're here on the Master mm -hmm. Radio Live Show. <laughs> Siento nervios al decírtelo 
existen Hay un mundo tan perfecto Que todos cometen un error Mido por mi error Y franco es lo que soy Disimulando mi gran dolor Hoy te doy tu explicación Entiendo que nuestro amor Fue un momento lleno de pasión Tan ciego estaba a un lado de ti Mano a mano Me arrepiento de que tonto yo fui En las buenas y las malas Amante, amigo o enemigo Tú sabes que tienes mi alma Y enfrentando este castigo Derrotada se encuentra mi vida Sin tenerte a mi lado con una meta, con un motivo, conquistarte y flechar tu cariño. Oh, oh, oh. Amor, ya te perdona mi tóxica herida. Al decírtelo Que no hay un mundo tan perfecto Que todos cometen un error Tenido por mi error Y franco es lo que soy Disimulando mi gran dolor Hoy te doy tu explicación Entiendo que nuestro amor Fue un momento lleno de pasión el cielo estaba a un lado de mí, mano a mano, me arrepiento de que tonto yo fui. En las buenas y las malas, amante, amigo o enemigo, tú sabes que tienes mi alma, enfrentando este castigo. Derrotada se encuentra mi vida, sin tenerte a mi lado. Una meta con un motivo, conquistarte y flechar tu cariño. Oh, oh, All right, awesome single right there. Hola, que tal? From Grupo Sendero. And we're here live with a gentleman from Grupo Sendero, Mr. Isaac Cavazos and Mr. Vicente Garza. And uh, we want to thank you guys so much for being a part of the show. And if anybody wants to book you guys for an event, where can they get a hold of you at? So you can call, uh, <laughs> I think uh, you can call me or Isaac. Isaac's, uh, my number is 956-862-2338. Uh, we also have our Facebook, uh, Grupo Sendero. Uh, if you click on the About uh, tab or the little section there, we have all our information, emails, uh, phone numbers, you know, so you can contact us there. Or we also have Instagram, uh, TikTok. So, you know, there's several ways you can get a hold of us. We have also have a, a website, uh, uh, you know, for the band. So, yeah, you can find us there. Nice. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Give a couple more shout outs here real quick. Uh, let's see. Jason Nunez. He says, what's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, we have uh, Miss Ruby Quesada. She says, well, hello. Saludos. What's going out there, buddy? I mean, that's Lila's aunt. Well, hello. We want to thank, thank you guys so much for being with us here. Make sure you guys go check these guys out. They're going to be at Fanfare uh, on, on Saturday. On that Saturday, they're going to be out there, and hopefully they can make some of the other events. 
Uh, they're going to be out there Friday night. Uh, we're going to try to get them interviews with uh, Hacienda International. And, of course, this interview right here is going to be on Spotify. The actual video is going to be on Spotify. And then, of course, you can hear it on MachingonRadio.com uh, Monday and Tuesday afternoon at 2 o'clock. So make sure you guys tune in right before our Top 20 Countdowns. And, uh, gentlemen, thank you guys so much for being a part of the show. Thank you, Juan. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for having us. Yeah, Not thank you, Juan. Not no problem. So anything you guys need, you know, we're always here. We're always a message away. So just let us know whatever you guys need. Likewise, brother. Thank you very much, man. We appreciate All it. All right, no problem. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got Grupo Sendero right here on the Mashigo Radio Live Show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Watch and Go Radio Show podcast. I am your host, Juan Mendoza. The show is being brought to you by Lila Lisa Promotions, sponsored by Marasul Tequila, the new face of tequila. 